What is copyright? A simple definition of copyright is legal rights in certain creative works, such as text, artistic works, music, computer programs, sound recordings, and films that protect the interest of the person who created the work. Painters, photographers, graphic designers, filmmakers, musicians, composers, and writers rely on the sale of their creative work to earn a living. Copyright law provides a system to make sure that those who create things will get paid and get credit for the things they developed. Examples of copyrightable works include motion pictures, photographic images, drawings and sketches, music, television programs, paintings, interiors, web videos, web art, landscapes, furniture, spoken words, designs for buildings, and written words. The rights under copyright law are granted exclusively to the copyright owner to reproduce the material and for some material the right to perform or show the work to the public. The main point of copyright law is that all money to be made from something created should go to the person who created it, the person who owns the copyright. Copyright owners can prevent others from reproducing or communicating their work without their permission. Copyright owners may also sell their rights to someone else. Copyright protection extends to original works of authorship that are fixed in any tangible medium of expression. And copyright protection does not extend to ideas, procedures, processes, systems, methods of operation, or discoveries, regardless of the forms in which they are described, illustrated, or embodied in a work. Original works of authorship include most of the things we read, view, or hear in the classroom such as books, journals, movies, art, music, and content posted on the Internet. The owner of a copyright has the exclusive right to do the following. Reproduce copies of the work. Prepare derivative works based on the copyrighted work. Distribute copies of the work by sale, rental, lease, or lending, and publicly perform the work if it is a literary, musical, dramatic, or choreographic work, or a pantomime, motion picture, or audiovisual work. The owner of the copyright has the exclusive right to do the following. Publicly display the work if it is a literary, musical, dramatic, choreographic, sculptural, graphic, or pictorial work, including the individual Im images of a film or a pantomime. The Fair Use Doctrine The legal doctrine of fair use allows for portions of copyrighted materials to be used without permission of the copyright owner provided that the use is fair and reasonable, does not substantially impair the value of the materials, and does not curtail the profits reasonably expected by the owner. Four factors will be considered when determining whether the fair use doctrine applies the purpose and character of the use, 
including whether such use is of a commercial nature or is for nonprofit educational purposes. The nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and sustainability of the portion used in relation to the copyrighted work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for or value of the copyrighted work. All four factors should be evaluated in each case, and no one factor will determine the outcome. While fair use is intended to apply to teaching, research, and other such activities, an educational purpose alone does not make a use fair. The purpose and character of the use is only one of the four factors that users must analyze in order to conclude whether or not the use is fair and therefore lawful. Determining fair use. The purpose and character of the use. Will the copied material be for nonprofit, educational, or commercial use? Personal use or the use of works in the classroom to directly serve the educational objectives of the class without students being charged a fee for their copies tends to be favored over the commercial use of works. The nature of the copyrighted work. Is it a creative work and an informational work? Photocopies made of a newspaper or news magazine column are more likely to be considered a fair use than copies made of a musical score or a short story. Amount sustained reality or portion used. Consider the amount copied in relation to the copyrighted work as a whole. Consider two things. How much is copied and used and the significance of the copied portion. The use of brief portions of works or excerpts from longer works, says a chapter in a book or an individual article within a journal, tends to be favored over the use of large portions of works or excerpts that form the heart of the work. The effect of the use on the potential market. If the reproduction of a copyright work reduces the potential market and sales and therefore the potential profits of the copyright owner, that use is unlikely to be found a fair use. Whereas an instructor might be tempted to make copies of parts of a textbook and then distribute copies to the students so that they would not have to buy the textbook. This would mean fewer sales of the textbook. Photocopying is also covered by the Fair Use Doctrine. If you follow these guidelines, you will be in compliance with the copyright law. Here are some specific rules on fair use under the copyright law. You can make the following copies for scholarly or educational needs. from one chapter from a book. One article from a journal issue or newspaper. And multiple excerpts from a single book or journal issue is permitted if the total amount copied is less than 10% of the whole book or journal. A short story, a short essay, or a short poem. A chart, diagram, drawing, graph, cartoon, or a picture.
and these rules are considered by some people to be too restrictive for academic needs. It may be that the Fair Use Doctrine would allow you to make other copies. Items that are not subject to copyright law. Works that may be used freely. Items in the public domain, that is, their use is not protected by copyright law. Anything published before 1923. A work published before 1978, which does not carry a copyright notice. Most United States government documents. Once a work has acquired public domain status, it is no longer eligible for copyright protection.